Cool, I've got two seats. So this is like when you ask someone something that they don't like and then come out and just sit in it right now. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. How are you guys feeling? Nervous. Sick. <laughs> Good. So, I'm not gonna cry. This, you guys are gonna be fantastic for this. Okay, so the first question we always go into is, so what would you like to create? What would you like to create? Who's gonna go first? What would you like to create? So right now, this is your reality. What would you like to create in, in relation to public speaking? How would you like it to be? Feel confident. Yep. Relax. Yep. And just allow whatever happens, happens. Yep. Easy. Okay, so that's question number one. Question number two is compared to that, what's it like now? Mm -hmm. yeah. Nerve wracking. I don't even know how to spell racking. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, the way that the recode works is I will connect into the superconscious um, that you guys both have. And I will call the, the resistance into the active experience and then we're going to create a treatment plan. You are that part of your superconscious, and it's going to be like uh, playing on a football field. And the resistance is, is like, imagine like little gophers, those animals have popped out and left little mounds of dirt everywhere, right? And as you're trying to play, there's all this stuff in the way. And as I talk to the superconscious and create a treatment plan, it will just be like, the superconscious is just sweeping all that dirt back in with a feather in the perfect way, in the perfect order, and you'll just be able to be on the active experience without that resistance. That's what will happen. Uh, have either of you done a recode before? I've dabbled with your replays. Done some replays? Yeah, I have. You've done one. All right, good. Well, that's going to make it even easier. Cool. Cried on all of them. You cried on all of them. All right. So. Um, what you must experience and, and own before we go into that is you've created this resistance to being a uh, powerful, confident, relaxed and easy. You, you've created this. Yep. Okay. And you, you've created it because resistance is just there to avoid anyone being able to see one of your wounds. Right? That's what it's created for. So you've created this. So the first thing is just acknowledge, yeah, I have created this. This isn't me. This is something I chose to create, something I chose to create so that I wouldn't put myself out there to be a public speaker. I, would, I wouldn't, it would make, I'd feel nervous, but it's just not true. Yep. You see, it's something you created. I can't hear. Sorry. I don't want to hear. Oh, you don't want to hear? <laughs> I can't focus, but you're all right. Yeah, so, so that's all right. I get it. I know you get it. And the, the important thing is, is the part of you that doesn't want to hear it is a part of you that's like holding on so much to the to not wanting to be powerful because it thinks it's it, there's something scary about it. So it's going to be a, a big shift. So should we do the should we do the recode? Yep. Yeah. We got this. All right. So if, if you if you're okay with me to connect with your superconscious, just close your eyes and give me permission and just choose to get the most out of it. All right. Cool. Superconscious, see you there. Yeah. So superconscious, see this resistance? Yeah. yeah, cool. So please treat all emotions, including the emotions of fear, worry, worry about events, future events, past event, and the original event. Superconscious, do you see all of this? Please treat and do a massive change history and everything after that. Superconscious, do you see the chakras, especially the third eye, heart chakra? sacral chakra. See the chakras? Please bring up any resistance related to those and please treat and do a massive change history and everything after that. Thank you. There you go. Superconscious, see the memory barriers. There's memory barriers. Please treat and do a massive change history on all memory barriers, broken promises and secondary intentions. Please treat and do a massive change history. That's it. And just breathe through those as it's shifting. That's it. Just big heart breaths. 
Superconscious, do you see the inner child? Yeah. Please treat, do a massive change history on the inner child and permission to share her voice. Please treat, do a massive change history, safe to share her voice, safe to be herself, all aspects of that. And, and do you feel the, yeah, yeah, please treat to a massive change history. So I want to bring up the masculine resistance here, permission from dad, validation from, from father, from masculine. And please bring that into the active experience. And please treat it in the perfect way, in the perfect order. That's it. Superconscious, if there's any other resistance left in the field that's stopping confidence, relaxed and easy, speaking in front of groups, feeling natural and safe and confident, please bring it all into the active experience and treat it in the perfect way, in the perfect order, and do a massive change history and everything after that. That's it. Just choose to allow it to be treated, it's safe. When pain is resolved, trauma turns to wisdom. So take, take three breaths and then just come back to us. Love to see how you're going. Welcome back. How was that? <laughs> it was freaky. It was freaky? What was freaky about it? when you um, said about, I've done lots of meditations on inner child and people say that you should see your inner child. I've never seen her. I actually saw myself as about a three, four year old huh. and heard a voice actually screaming at me, shut up, you love the sound of your own voice. So I was like. <laughs> <laughs> she was definitely loud. <laughs> Always have been. <laughs> And how's, how are you going? I didn't have any memories of such, but I just felt at different things that you're talking about, I just would go into more deeper relax, deeper back. I just kind of felt different levels kind of fall away. Nice. Yeah. And uh, just, just audience, who's noticing a difference how they're speaking in front of the group right now? Anyone at all or is it just me? Yeah. How do you guys feel in front of an audience right now? <laughs> yeah, but I, I was actually covered like they weren't even there. <laughs> it was a bit comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's totally comfortable, but much better. Mm -hmm. You were very uncomfortable before when you went up and sat down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I do feel way better. Yeah, relaxed. good. Yeah. And so before, that was an impossibility. But once we, once we connect into the aspects of them that's causing that resistance and, and allow it to shift, now this is a new possibility. So let's finish it off if you guys want to. You want to finish it off? Yep. So close your eyes and just let me connect back in. Superconscious, I want to bring out any part personalities, uh, any, any aspects of consciousness, superconscious, unconscious, or self-conscious that causes any resistance to being a confident, relaxed, easy public speaker that just allows, bring anything into the active experience and do one big, massive change history and anything else needed, including family history, tandem memories, original events, future events, all emotions, Structures, broken promises, broken agreements, secondary intentions, and everything else. Please treat to a massive change history. And superconscious, please reinforce this belief with confidence. Please reinforce this, this new choice with trust. Please reinforce this new belief with a feeling of complete certainty and allow those memories to ground back into the matrix of the universe. And take three big breaths and welcome back to no resistance to public speaking. 
and you can open your eyes when you're ready. Who thinks that's pretty cool? Yeah. Emma's all in. How are you feeling? Well, now I'd like to. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> please go, please go. My name's Aisha. Um, I've just had my first live recoding session at the Magnetic Mine. And it was to, yeah, it's, I feel like I've had some massive shifts and still feeling a little bit jittery inside, but feeling very confident to go out there and try my first, at least, video um, to get out there and I'd eventually get out there and do some public speaking. So, yeah, it's exciting times ahead. Um, I had a lot of different feelings. I had at one point, um, Chris mentioned to, um, uh, something to do with the inner child going back and I actually saw a visual in my mind, a visual picture of me at about four years old and my mother screaming at me to shut up um, that I like the sound of my own voice so that sort of clarified to me where maybe I have developed a, a confidence barrier or a, um, a fear of actually going out and speaking so that sort of, um, and also um, something that I didn't say inside, um, when he mentioned my father and that um, getting permission, I don't have a very good relationship with him, so I started getting angry and then I thought to myself, don't try and create something that's not there, so and I actually just, it just dissolved and went away. So yeah, it's, um, it, was, it was an unusual experience and that, but a enlightening experience, so a great experience, I enjoyed it. Well, I just had that clearing, recoding with Chris, of public speaking, and it was huge, even while he was talking to me and I'm standing on stage, I, I couldn't even hear what he was saying, I was just in fear. And the whole process afterwards, I just felt shaky all over, and I'm still processing it, and I cried afterwards, and my whole life, I've never been able to have anyone even look at me to do anything. Like I wouldn't even let my mum come to school and watch me do anything because it terrified me. I just couldn't. I can't do anything. If I know anyone knows me, I can't have them watch me. It doesn't matter what it is. I've done courses and I'll fail the exams if I have to do something physically in front of people because I can't do it. I can't read. I can't see. And Chris has just done this recode, and um, here I am now actually talking to a camera and someone's on me, and I shouldn't be able to do this. And here I am being able to do it after a recode, and I can feel my whole body shaking. I'm still processing whatever it was he changed. I don't even know what's changed. I know I don't need to know, and I'm okay with that. And, um, and the difference is from I'm actually standing here doing this. This is quite remarkable, and it's all just a quick recode. I, I don't know. I don't understand. And I'm looking forward to seeing. You know, will I do a public speaking? Will I do my video for Magnetic Mind? Will I get on there and do that? Like I'm still not sure because my mind hasn't quite accepted that I can. And here I am doing it now. It's really quite bizarre. Anyway, that's how it is.